Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm just gonna give like a quick demo of this um, character. Basically, it's a full body scan of um, Eric Newman. Um, basically, yesterday uh, I saw one of his video presentations about um, how you you can nowadays like share your full body scan and kind of wondering what happened if you upload um, your full body scan with a complete with the bones and facial shapes to the internet and let's see what people will make out of it but yeah I've been searching for just like a, a 3d mesh that has a complete face shapes and I'm, I'm really happy that finally I have one here so currently only the head is actually being controlled um, in real time you seeing the iPhone 10 directly sending message to Blender and it looks really weird because only the head is moving at the moment but I post the body it's still kind of stiff I will probably need to animate the, the body a little bit just giving like a breathing animations I don't have access to full body scan but I, I kind of wish I have maybe I need to contact like a like a local school or something that have a full body um, like a scan or like a for full body mocap um, anyhow we can now just focus on the on the face and it seems to be working really well um, currently I'm recording and this might be a little bit jerky but if I'm not recording this is actually um, pretty fast and running at 60 frames per second I could actually record it as as well so now I'm kind of testing the face and try to all kind of emotions um, currently I'm plugging in uh, almost like a 51 blend shapes for the iPhone 10 that uh, Apple provided in the API and it's it's working I guess it's like 80 not 85 80 percent I guess it's working really well and you can kind of tell if the person's and actually giving like uh, the basic emotions so I can try like uh, the default default um, pose for example neutral face something like this it's a bit weird when the eyes is not actually looking at um, directly so this is like a neutral pose with a bit of eye movement is kind of giving it it looks alive and then the next one this is based on the Dr. Ekman I think or Professor Ekman from 1989 um, a face should be like a the minimum basic requ requirement for face emotions is need to be able to give like a neutral face happiness express happiness surprise anger disgust sadness and fear so neutral is basically fine and then with a you know that kind of eye movement it gives a sense of alive the character is alive and then happy like a real happy like that happy is fine surprise so let's say if I'm if I saw a cockroach or saw a ghost I'll, I'll be like really surprised or in Australia you got spider at home surprise let's say that's a surprise or you saw like a like a Godzilla or something that's a surprise Angry, angry is actually a little bit hard to to do. Angry, angry is basically like you want to make the eyebrow goes down, but it's not normally you don't do that like a, in a cartoon character. Angry is like if you kind of squeeze the eyebrow. Maybe I made slight mistake with the eyebrow there, but see. If character is really angry, you you tend to say, okay, the character is frowning, but uh, maybe angry is more like that. It depends on the face as well. Mm, so that angry, angry is normally the eyes going further down. I I try to push it with my finger. And anyhow, that's angry. Fear, fear actually. Fear is a bit like that is if you saw a ghost and kind of you fear you kind of shaking your head and yeah I think fear is a lot of 
with a with the body expression as well. Um, the next one, disgust, is probably like if you found something disgusting and then you it's really smelly and then your face is making like a, it moves the nose up and then it's like ugh, disgusting, you know. There's a disgust face, and then you have sad. Okay, sad is actually pretty easy. Yeah, so yeah, you can see the whole thing can be performed in real time and I'm still have to test a couple of things. There are some there's a couple of things like the tongue. The tongue for example, there is no control on the tongue unless uh, we kind of set up the blend shapes that moves the tongue um, if you want the the lips like the menu details if you try to say like a b c or like a talking character it um it shouldn't skip frame like what you can see here maybe i can reduce the less resolutions perhaps to make it to make everything a bit faster um let me try something if i hide the watch the shirt Um, yeah, if I hide everything, it's probably going to be a little bit faster. So anyhow, I'm going to show you all the blend shapes that's currently connected. I didn't adjust anything. There's um, a couple of things like, oh, okay, I move, okay, jaw left and everything, mouth up and mouth down. It's not currently being connected but this is can be useful as well for extreme kind of emotion i turn it off i don't know where to connect it to the iphone 10 blend shapes and there's the tongue up is actually currently off but that's useful if you want if character is talking the tongue needs to move sometimes and the jaw i think i connect everything Maybe I didn't connect this one properly. But the cool thing is that um, I'm being able to kind of interface my face directly connecting it to um, Eric's face um, in real time using my iPhone. And it's running on Blender currently, but uh, I'm pretty sure this can be done uh, using Unity, but as more interesting is that if you can stream it online, I don't know what's the what's the tool out there to actually stream the data. So this one is running currently under my network, Wi-Fi network, and I'm using open source, uh, open sound controllers, OST, and yeah, it is working quite well. What I'm gonna do next probably to create like um, an emoji Apple Animoji kind of app to drive Eric's face, just the face and the head, and try to see it how it runs on the iPhone because it's going to be running at 60 frames per second without any skipping. It is skipping now. I'm using my MacBook Pro. It's a, it's not the fastest machine. I don't have any GPU. It's just all CPU. Um, yeah, just basic GPU, I think. But it's a, uh, it's working quite well. Head orientations. Eye blinks, eye squeeze, all kind of expression. There's, I think, perhaps it's like more like a basic standard. It has, it doesn't have like things like um, I could add details, perhaps like a uh, dimple, things like that. Uh, but I guess look, it's looking quite well. I, I made quite quite an adjustment with the eyes. For example, it's a, uh, it's now working better than before um yeah so this is a quick test i'll try and to convert this to an app so everyone can try this on their iphone 10. Uh, you don't need to use blender or set up all kind of stuff but yeah if you're interested however to have like the blend and all the setup i'm i don't know if uh, maybe one day i'll do a workshop um pretty soon um so this is the whole setup basically this part is doing the matrix, this part is doing the eyeballs, orientations, and then all the blend shapes connected, all using animation nodes. 
I'm using it this way so it's easier so it's visual but everything can be uh, can be a lot faster if I use just a blender default drivers maybe so yeah hopefully you find this demo useful uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, I'll try to answer it but yeah there you go that's a um, quick demonstration how my face can interface with Eric's Newman's face um, in real time using Blender and iPhone 10. Hopefully you enjoy this. Let me know what you think again and I'll see you next time. Bye.